What's your medium size length always going to be? About four years ago, we started this journey um, through the support of CESA 7 and a, uh, the SOAR grant. And um, at that time, we identified a group of students who were uh, behind in reading proficiency and started a, I guess, a journey to basically change the way we do things so that we could bring the students' reading proficiency up so that these students were having more success in the classroom, um, which would lead to higher graduation rates. We are doing an inclusive model, meaning that the special ed students are not pulled out into a special, special ed classroom, but they're receiving the general ed curriculum with the core content teachers. I guess the first and most important step was coming to the realization that what we were doing or what we had been doing wasn't working. Um, pulling students out of their language arts classes um, to provide reading, uh, reading intervention at the expense of the, of the language arts um, curriculum um, was having an adverse effect on our students. The very first year that they started this, they saw the suspensions and the detentions go down dramatically. The attendance went up, um, so the truancies were down, especially in the, with the students with disabilities. Not only are we including the, the special ed students with the regular ed, but the teachers are collaborating behind the scenes. So the special ed teacher is getting to know and understand the core content teacher and vice versa. Core content is learning from the special ed teacher how to make modifications themselves. I actually am starting to learn more and understand more. Um, my note taking skills before when I was getting pulled out for different things were bad, my notes were all over, but now I'm strict on my notes and I'm actually learning everything I need to learn. And it's, it feels nice actually being in a normal class with everyone and just staying there for the whole class. The students are seeing potential in themselves that they didn't see before. They're seeing that the teachers see potential in them and that they're a student first and a label second. For me, when I was getting pulled out, there was a label stigma with those kids that kept getting pulled out, but I overcame that by succeeding as far as I needed to go. Yes, I am in still team talk classes, some of them, but I'm not labeled because no one knows that it's for me. It's a, just a normal class. They think that there's, you just need more help. So I overcame that label, that label of being special ed. <laughs> We're making a difference. We are increasing the reading scores and showing the kids that they can achieve. So they're going to be motivated longer than just this year. They're going to be motivated and know they can do it all the time, not just today or last year.